in that case, maybe I, I didn't think it would be justified because maybe, maybe they should have waited until he actually dies. Great. So Megu has raised the point of the right of due process. If there is the right of due process, then yes, we can actually take away someone's life. Now, Megu, let me ask you a question. Let's say they do the lottery. Now, you're saying this lottery is fair. So they do the lottery. Richard loses. And Richard says, hey, wait, wait, I changed my mind. Actually, I don't agree anymore. <laughs> <laughs> do they still have the right to kill Richard Parker? Okay. So then let's take a vote here then. They have the lottery. Richard Parker once again loses the lottery. And right as Brooks once again takes out his pen knife and says, you agree, Richard Parker says, wait, 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 wait. I don't agree anymore. I take it back. Raise your hand if you think that Richard Parker is bound to that agreement. Richard Parker had sworn to the lottery. Now he must be killed. OK. We have a few brave souls. And raise your hand if you think, no, 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 Richard Parker, he no longer agrees, he should survive. OK. We have an even split. So let's hear first from the people who say, Richard Parker swore to this agreement. He is bound by this agreement. And therefore, he must die, regardless of changing his mind afterwards. Who's, who was in the majority back there? OK, OK. Um. When he agreed, he certainly knew that there was a possibility of himself being killed. And then the result turned out, and then he changed that mind. I thought that was kind of unfair, you know, and just took back his um, own decision. Case says an agreement is an agreement. Who disagrees, okay. <coughs> Who disagrees with that proposition? Okay, Chi Chi. Uh, I think that the lottery is just a way to justify your means. So. Mm -hmm. Either way, he agrees or doesn't agree. I mean, the point when we said that we're going to do the lottery, they knew that one of us were going to die because you know that was the point of the lottery. So I don't think to them it doesn't matter if he agrees or not. They just want an excuse to kill that guy to survive. Okay. So do you want to respond to Shuichi? So I couldn't quite understand what he said. Uh, so I thought that the lottery was just a way to justify killing somebody. What Shuichi, I believe, is saying is that a lottery is still just an arbitrary way of killing someone. Right. It still cannot justify so someone's death. The lottery itself is... He's guess. saying, I think Shuichi disagrees with Megu. He says that even if they agree to a lottery, it still cannot justify taking away the uh, No. I actually think that we could just kill that guy, or we could do the lottery and kill that guy, or uh -huh. it doesn't matter what we do, right. because they're set to ki killing that guy, because he's the weakest. Oh, guy. OK. Well, then let's say it wasn't Richard who lost the lottery. Let's say it was the strongest one, Brooks. Would, would, would they be able to kill Brooks? Is Richard allowed to kill Brooks, because Brooks has now lost the lottery? Uh, no. No. So it's not about the weakest. It's not a, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I think when they're doing the lottery, well, would anybody actually agree to doing that lottery when they visually know that one of them is dying? It's a hypothetical case, perhaps. Well, they, it's like a re really hypothetical case. And I mean, if they actually agree on that term, then you know, maybe the guy who lost the lottery should Maybe the guy who lost the lottery should get killed. So it looks like <laughs> you're starting to agree with Kay. Yeah. Oh, OK. <laughs> does, does anyone disagree with Kay? Does anyone say the lottery still does not justify this act of murder? OK, Tomoya. Um, I think they're all guilty of murder. The moment they agree to. Because they're all agreeing to kill somebody, no matter who it is. So are you, it seems like you're still making the case that they don't have the right in the first place to take away someone's life. Good. 
So this comes back to the point of unalienable human rights. Without the right of due process, no one has the right to take away the life of someone else. So now we go on to one final case. This is a very recent case from the real world. On March 11, 2011, a terrible earthquake, magnitude 9.0, shook the northeastern region of Japan. Many students from the University of Tokyo were very afraid. Now, this is the point. There was a nuclear power plant that was at critical danger of melting down. And there were workers from the Tokyo Electric Power Company working at the scene. These workers were crucial in avoiding the meltdown. And the Japanese government decided that it would temporarily allow these workers to be exposed to more nuclear radiation. Better to have these workers keep on working there, the Japanese government thought, to avoid this nuclear meltdown. Now, these Japanese government workers, I mean, sorry, the TEPCO workers, were exposed to more nuclear radiation than they were technically supposed to be exposed to. We do not know about the long-term health risks of these workers. What I want you to tell me is whether or not the Japanese government was <coughs> justified in allowing those workers to be exposed to more nuclear radiation. Was the Japanese government right to make a very utilitarian claim? Better to have a few workers be exposed to more radiation so that we do not have to face a nuclear meltdown. Raise your hand if you think the Japanese government was justified in doing so. We have a tiny mind. Oh, more hands. A few half hands. Is this a pantomime? <laughs> OK. We have about half. And raise your hand if you think, no, no, they are not justified. OK. We have just about an even split. Let's hear first from the second half this time. Why were they not justified? I think uh, uh, maybe uh, the situation of a nuclear power plant is not uh, their fault. Uh, uh, earthquake and tsunami was uh, too too bad. And maybe uh, so. Uh, my point is, uh, it is not their fault. So it is very poor for them to. But if we don't have them work there, maybe a meltdown will happen. Perhaps all of Northeast Japan will be exposed to radiation. It was nobody's fault. So, what do you think? Uh, then uh, I think uh, we should uh, choose from uh, uh, choose volunteer volunteer people. Volunteers. <laughs> Volunteers. <laughs> we'll get to that case after this. But let's stick to the case here first. The Japanese government temporarily allowed these TEPCO workers to be exposed to more nuclear radiation. Let's hear from the people who said yes, it should be allowed. There were people back there, if I recall. Okay, you skip. Okay. Uh, yes, I admit that they are not, be, not to be right, but I think, as he said, if the Japanese government leaves the nuclear power, nuclear power plant, the situation will be more disastrous than the worker who work in nuclear plant, I think. So does anyone still disagree with you? Does anyone think still raising the nuclear exposure standards of those workers was morally unjustified? Who disagrees with you? Yeah, I think it is okay for the Japanese government to uh, send some workers to nuclear power plant if these uh, workers agree uh, with, the, the, with, with their work. But I think if the workers uh, don't, don't, don't wish to work in the nuclear plant uh, with high and, uh, and nuclear uh, power, uh, uh, I think Japanese government, uh, Japanese government have.